Hey, bud. Um, they make 28 shots on that game, 18 for the three-point line. That means 10 two-pointers. Just what do you think of your defense at the rim? Yeah, the activity everywhere um, was good. Um, you know, Giannis, Brooke, Bobby, those guys, um, you know, really having to do both. They got to they play the paint. They got to play the three-point line. Our guards got to do the same thing. Our guards got to limit penetration, um, limit opportunities. So, um, you know, I think defensively, the guys, the edge, the focus was, was appropriate. Now we just got to do it again, um, coming back on uh, Tuesday. That's the second postseason triple double for Giannis. What do you think of his patience and maturity in that first half? Yeah, good. Um, you know, I think the word, you know, one of the words, the, the patience, you know, just keep working, keep working, keep reading the defense. Um, you know, the spacing around him's got to be great. We got to give him outlets. Um, he just keeps reading the game. And uh, sometimes it's scoring, sometimes it's sharing it. He knows he's got to do both. Uh, that. Excuse me, alley to himself that Giannis had. Uh, what kind of stands out to you on a play like that? <laughs> yeah, nobody. T uh, just that's that's uh, just pure talent, just pure instinct. Um, you know, he's a great player. He he does things that uh, are unique and special and and timely. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, you know one of those plays where you just you know you're happy he's on our side. And then you. Uh coming into the game that you kind of plan to play Giannis, you know, you resting him very shortly. He was kind of on the bench for like a minute or less, or less than that there. Were you uh, planning to play him as much as you did to start off? And was that a product of Drew's foul trouble early on? Kind of what was the game plan there? A uh, little bit of both, but, but Drew's early foul trouble um, definitely kind of had an impact on the early rotations. And um, so, you know, he played a lot. It was good to see him, you know, play through that and, um, and, you know, be able to withstand kind of what it takes, you know, for him defensively, offensively uh, to play big minutes. So, but it, it, it kind of, this, the ball got going that direction with the early foul trouble with Drew. And Bud, speaking of foul trouble, it seems like they started to collect with your bigs um, toward the end of the third quarter. How did that affect your rotation and in lineup and how your substitution patterns? Yeah, I mean, it's the playoffs. You know, you just have to you have to be ready to, you know, put uh, your best teams out there, your best players out there as much as possible. And um, yeah, I mean, all that stuff went out the window pretty quickly. And but, you know, I thought Brooke Brooke really gave us a stretch there where I think he was playing with four small guys because uh, Giannis had a little bit of foul trouble. Bobby had a little bit of foul trouble. And, you know, Javon Carter with that group, just, you know, really good tonight. And so you know, I think the ability to play both ways, you know, we got to be good when we're big. We got to be good when we're just kind of regular and, and good when we downsize. And uh, that's the challenge for our team. And um, we got to keep working and getting better at all three of them. Um, Mike, just a quick follow on that. For Giannis, I mean, it, three of those fouls were loose ball or way away. From, I mean, is that one of those where maybe after the fact, I don't know if that's a frustration thing for him or how did you, is that one of those where maybe going forward, it's like maybe not, try that <laughs> I don't know if that's the right phrase uh yeah I think it's just you know be a little bit smarter um you know I think it's it's good for Giannis to experience this you know I think you know we'll just look at it with him individually talk about it a little bit individually but you don't want to take away him playing hard you don't want to take him competing um but you know I think as a team and individually we got to compete but we got to you know um be disciplined and smart and how we compete and uh he's very capable you know in some ways I think learning from today um, and not picking up some of those uh, could be good for us going forward. Um, I mean, Brooke, six points, but 10 rebounds, Bobby and Giannis each with double doubles as well. How important was it for those, those three specifically to have that kind of presence on the glass if they're going to each one or two in that at, at, together most of the game? Yeah, no, I mean, you know, we felt like the offensive rebounding um, – you know, was something that uh, they'd had success with um, that, you know, can swing games and everybody's working so hard defensively. It's hard to get good looks. It's hard to get good shots. And, um, you know, when you can finish a possession with the, with the rebound with, you know, that's, you're not, you're not done until you do that. So, you know, Brooke, Bobby, Giannis, those guys got to keep working. Our guards got to, you know, they can't just assume there's like, you know, one or two in my mind where our guards are leaking out and we want to play fast, but you can't play fast till you get the ball. 
What do you say to Giannis to remind him of that patience? Because when he's missing driving layups, that's not typical for him. They've got a great defense, though. You're on the road. What do you do to kind of bring him back to being grounded? Yeah, you know, just tell him to keep attacking. Keep attacking. And, and also, you know, just keep his focus on the defensive end. Make things happen on that end. And things will happen uh, for him when on his drives and on his attacks. And I think as the game went, he was rewarded more and more. Um, you know, I think he'll be better going into the second game. Uh, Brooke talked about the other day that he's going to treat every game as a learning experience. You guys did last year. Hostile environments, foul trouble. What did you learn after this game about the series? Yeah, I mean, you know, we'll go look at the film and there's all kinds of stuff to look and learn. And, um, you know, both teams, you know, if this is going to be a competitive series. It's going to be a tough series. And. Today was very much like that. That's what we expect for this series. Um, a lot of respect for them and um, what they're capable of. And, um, you know, we just got to, we got to prepare. We got to look at where we can be better and um, expect them to be their best on Tuesday. Uh, Drew hits a number of big shots during that game. Just the moments where the Celtics are coming back and then he finds either a float or a three, whatever it may be. Just what did you see from him tonight? Yeah, kind of a, a little bit um, disjointed game. You know, we talked about the early fouls a little bit, you know, even though he'd hit, I think, one or two shots early in the game. Um, and, you know, again, I think uh, he, he can, I think, play even a little bit better, but his, his ability to make timely shots, um, get to the basket and finish, get to the mid range and finish. Um, you know, it's just, that's what we need from him. It's, it's uh, you know, he's, he's a great player and, um, you know, he's just doing and trying to get to his spots. All right, thank you guys.